welcome back to my channel. I am Lamia and this is The Lamb Style and <clears throat> this is my first video of the Vlogmas this year. So I've decided to start doing Vlogmas the first <clears throat> week of December. <clears throat> Sorry. And I was also thinking it is a good time to actually early in December share with you whatever I want to share about Christmas maybe some ideas maybe some gifts maybe stuff like that so that you get inspired and you have the rest of the month to do whatever you want to do so I'm glad to have you here today I am in a very chilled um, mood <laughs> as always when I start filming you know and yeah so I was like I'm missing YouTube I just made a video in the last month because I was so busy and now I'm like it's December let's just post as many videos as we can and this video I want to share with you actually um, my wish list for the month as I do usually I missed last month but this month I'm going to share with you everything that I am planning to buy from the newness to maybe all stuff that I didn't manage to get I still want this month so also I have been very very active on TikTok for the last three months and I'm very impressed with my work like I have been searching so much and doing so much work and trying to be myself and but I feel TikTok I don't know if you are on TikTok guys but I feel like it's quite aggressive people so much hate I did not get that hate on Instagram or here but there's so much hate on TikTok um yeah so for example yesterday i was looking at this video where i am talking about how i expected men in england would be dressed up like and then when i come here it's a very different story and uh, it was just for me it's a funny video i don't really think that men here dress up badly i was just thinking that it is a funny way of just shed a light on a reality here in uk <laughs> and then and then someone commented on that video yesterday by the way it has like a million views and I was like, they said, um, it doesn't matter at all because anyways, you will need to get the authorization of your brother or your father. And I'm like, oh my God, I kind of forget that people in this platform don't really know me. Like I show more of myself on YouTube than any other uh, platform. And I'm like, oh my God, they don't really know me because I'm not that person. I am the one who actually just came up to my parents and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm engaged and I'm getting married and I'm moving to London. And they were like, what, 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 wait, what, when did you meet the guy? What happened? And so I am just like that person. And just to hear people like judge me for something that I am not and then just like guess that I am this traditional person. Like, of course, all Arabs are like that, but not me and I'm like oh that's so funny how people's perception is of you can be so wrong and yeah it is funny to see this kind of um, comment on TikTok I just wanted to share this um, this experience with you anyway let's move to the um, today to the uh, wishlist items and it starts with the by the way I just realized that there is a pumpkin here that is still sitting there for like a month and a half I hope it didn't go bad, but I just love to have a look at my pumpkins. Ooh, but I'm gonna end up uh, cooking it or making it, um, putting it in a pasta. Yeah, my wish list this month is a very short wish list because I did not get time to have a look at that because I was launching my business properly uh, of styling and personal styling. So I was like, okay, I'm not shopping anything. I'm putting all my money on um promoting my business and doing things properly so now i'm just going to share with you these items and i'm not really sure because it's christmas also and you buy more for other people than you buy for yourself but i love also to give myself like a little bit of a treat so i might be buying something very soon and this thing is i'm just looking at my list i'm going to start with this first item which are a pair of bottega veneta shoes okay never say never because before in my other videos i was always like oh my god i'm not buying any bottega veneta i hate bottega veneta but literally machu blazi he made these shoes and i'm crazy about them why are they i thought they were on my wish list oh no i'm looking in oh gosh i'm looking on my on the newness okay here we go i'm just trying to open 
my wish list. I um, actually have my wish list on my Teresa platform, as you can see here. This is not sponsored. So, oh my God, they're sold out already? Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe I should jump on these shoes before they are completely sold out. I'm gonna put a picture of them here. It is a pair of Croc Effect leather palms. It is like a, a wedge thing, but yeah, you know. Anyway, I feel like they might be comfortable, so I was looking at them. Um, I definitely saw Kylie Jenner wearing them in black, but I did not like them in black, but I really like them in um, the croc, the red croc vibe, you know, croc effect. It's not croc, but they call it croc effect. Uh, those shoes are like 820 pounds. Um, I mean, it's sold out. I can't, I can't, I can't believe this. It's all sold out, all of it. Um, I waited for too long. Maybe I should have bought them a while ago. Um, those are the ones. I feel like they will be looking really good with like a short skirt. It's not like I am going to wear with a short skirt because currently I don't really like my legs or my weight, but I will be wearing them with um, like a nice pair of jeans, straight pair of jeans, straight legs. Um, I would also wear them with like cropped pair of trousers i'm pretty short so i don't know if i'm gonna do that but if you're tall you can wear them with that um they are in red as you saw in the picture so i see them with like a gray trousers it looks really good and then a red top same color like burgundy or dark red so they are very classy but uh, those are the kind of shoes i wear when i'm going for dinner i don't really dress up as like i'm going for a party so if i'm going for dinner this is the thing that i want to wear and i want to feel comfortable because i want to be able to walk in them so there is that one uh i feel like they still have them in white white looks good to me too and it's cheaper than the other ones than the red ones the white ones are 730 pounds i'm putting a picture here for you i love a white pair of shoes and these are actually the pair of shoes that i would be wearing in white because they look so good um yeah so those are the ones next item next item i was looking at these saint laurent sunglasses I'm still not sure about it. I went all over the shops, uh, Saint Laurent shops in London, trying to um, find these sunglasses that I can just put them on and see how it looks on my face. Couldn't find them. Uh, I don't know if it's old season. I don't know if it's new season. It looks like they're just like sold out everywhere. They still have them in my Teresa. So I want those glasses in that shade, in that color, in the silver. Even though I'm not sure about the silver because uh, my skin tone uh, fits well with like golden uh, frames. But I am looking into these sunglasses and I want them sooner than, uh, than later. Also, I was looking at these. So this is the next item also. I was looking at this pair of jeans. So I have all kind of pair of jeans that you can imagine. None of them fits me anymore because I keep gaining weight sorry i need a solution i keep gaining weight and i feel like i need to look for this pair of trousers that will or jeans that will fit me make me look good help me like get over my issues and i think that these ones are pretty good because it's a mix of leather and jeans and also the fact that the denim is on the top apart can make um can make the jeans actually um snitch you on the top and then the rest of the legs it's actually leather which makes them look very cool it's from a brand called a gold or a gold a gold a gold um it's a it's a blend of leather and uh, denim um they are a bit pricey it's 455 400 455 pounds and this i feel like it's too much for a pair of jeans but let's say there is leather in there and that's what makes it expensive i guess um so yeah those are on the list um i have been looking at this saint laurent bag it is a bit pricey bag for saint laurent but i have been uh, eyeing it everywhere in the shops when i go shopping and i look at it and i'm like should i try it should i not but i never tried it never seen how it would look on me so but these bag, uh, this bag comes in different colors and then it comes in a croc effect like that in black and that's the one I like. It's either that or in cream. Cream uh, can be very like tricky because the color from the clothes transfer to the bag and stuff like that. 
So the black looks pretty good. It's £2,510 on My Teresa, and it's called Gabby Medium Leather Shoulder Bag. And it's a shoulder bag, and it's like old school, you know, like I don't know how to explain it, but it just looks really cool to me. Um, it looks like something that will hardly go out of style quickly. Um, so I want to have investment pieces, but not very much spend a lot of money on it, you know. You have these um, these Gia Borghini shoes, boots that I have seen uh, around. They are very nice, very well done. I love the leather, I love the color of it. I love it in this dark brown, like you see in the picture. It looks to me like a dark brown. I bet it's black. Uh, it feels to me like dark brown, and I love the dark brown instead of, yeah, it's a dark brown. I love that instead of um, black, completely black. Um, so it's a 616 uh, pound and it's called 24 platform knee high boots it's a rosy 24 platform knee high boots um gia Borghini has been doing so many nice boots since uh, since like two three years ago um i know that they're good quality so that's why i'm like yeah if i get a boot i get those ones they're a bit comfortable they look casual they're a bit of platform like this but it's all the way the same which makes it very comfortable to walk in so yeah these are the ones also there's this tom ford uh, sandals here is my logic about these things so if i buy sandals i don't really care if it's winter because i would wear it with socks and i mean tights black tights and these shoes from tom ford they are in velvet which makes it actually perfect for that kind of like matching with the um, tights because if you put like leather shoes with tights it doesn't really look that good but if you put these tom fours because they're velvet or suede suede and velvet both look good so if you put that with black tights they look amazing also the trend of like having leather socks uh we've seen it in other shows in like a few months ago on a runway show, I can't remember which brand they did it. I can't, I don't think it's Loewe or Kate. Some brand did it on the runway and I looked at it and I was like, this is going to be a, a big trend, wearing leather socks with sandals during the winter. And I feel like these shoes, if I had those leather socks, I would put them on with these shoes because they would look so good. And I would actually put it in like, yellow leather or like pink leather like some bright colors underneath it it would be looking so so good anyway those shoes are quite expensive it's like 1100 pounds but this is a classic uh, look of these shoes and they can last you forever so it's not a big deal um yeah and then i have been thinking about this purchase i'm not sure I would buy it but i've been thinking about it these laura piana bags small bags it's like a wallet bag with a handle i'm gonna put a picture here um, they come in so many different colors and in an ostrich um, leather and stuff like that and i was thinking of getting one of those because they look very practical i usually when i go out at night or even when i go out, like i have to go somewhere and do something i like to have a small bag where i can just uh put my wallet and my keys and not even my phone and my phone is always in my hand so i'll just like drop those and go and do whatever i need to do and these bags look perfect for that kind of occasion they come with a strap it is called extra pocket l19 leather crossbody bag uh they come in a very good price it's 1580 um i feel like this is a good price for a good leather good craftsmanship by laura piana uh, it's a very good brand if you want to buy leather so I was like, yeah, maybe this could be a really nice one. It's all sold out on my Teresa. I mean, everything that I have put on my wish list last week or the week before was just like sold out so quickly. Yeah, so this is another one that I was looking into. Uh, then um, what's the next one? Yeah, so you know how the Crocs have been so trendy but i'm not a croc person i'm not gonna wear a croc with um a good outfit and go out that's not me unless i'm going to see my in-laws but then i found these really nicely done roger vivier crocs and they look like that it's not like croc so because the, the the platform is not big it's small and they don't really look like crocs but they look very like classy classic kind of uh, slippers you know so those are actually something that I would wear 
if I had to wear those Crocs. And then also, I'm gonna, this last item and I'm going to stop because I feel I'm going on and on and on about it. So this one for people who want to buy a Sherlin bag, don't go buy these expensive Sherlin bags. I would advise buying small bags like this and cheaper from Max Mara. This is like an envelope bag. And I think envelope bags are always classy to carry. And it's in Sherlin and it's in a bit of a beigey darker. So even if they get dirty, it doesn't show that much. And they are also not expensive. This bag is 320 pounds and that is actually the maximum that I would pay for a Sherlin bag because next year it's not gonna be trendy anymore. So um, that is one of the bags that I would highly recommend you to buy. I'm buying it for sure. I need also a coat for Max Mara, by the way. But that I will buy it from Bista Village because this is how I do very clever um, purchasing and I'm very clever with spending my money. And I do spend a lot, but then I buy stuff that I know I'm going to wear. And at least I will wear it like once or twice and I know I'm doing that I don't really buy stuff that I'm not going to wear <laughs> so yeah so that was it and the coat from Max Mara it will be just a classic one and I will be buying it for Best of Village because that's where we have the best prices for Max Mara coats and it's a big selection of colors too so that's it that's all for my wish list I hope you enjoyed it I hope I was not walking too walking I was not talking too fast or giving information too fast I hope that this will help you if you want to purchase anything new or update your wardrobe. I am here to uh, give my advice and I'm happy to share it. So please share this video, share if you care this video with people that you care about, that you want them to also uh, get inspired and have the information at their fingertips. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave your comments if you have any question. I love you all, and um, I'll see you in my next video tomorrow, because now I'm posting every single day. See you tomorrow. Mwah.